the button. Okay, we are being recorded. Great. Uh, as I've said, if you miss any part of this meeting, you can always go back because once the recording ends, uh, it turns into an MP4 file and then I upload it to YouTube. And I, what I will do is I will put the new recording link in that Google slide that you guys went on this morning, right in there and replace the live Google Zoom link. So it'll be in there. You can always go back and watch this, any parts you need, okay? Jack, you have a quick question or no? All right, go ahead, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Yes. Um, last time when we were recording, it wouldn't yeah. let you do breakthrough. Is that gonna, did you find out why or? Yeah, no, it turns out I had to do something on my end to allow breakout rooms and now we're good, okay? All right. Okay. Uh, Again, Mason, Haley, Ellie, and Kayla. I see you guys there. There we go. Just want to see your faces, okay? All right, to start off with, did anyone have any problems seeing the tutorial in Connect Ed? If you had problems, just show me a thumbs down. If you didn't get to it, okay, please do that next time or even later today after our meeting. But did anyone have any problems? I don't see any thumbs down. Okay, to make sure you can hear me, if you were good, thumbs up. All right, I've got a couple of people that were good, which means maybe, oh, there we go, there we go. So maybe some of you didn't get a chance to do that. Every Monday, it's gonna start with a tutorial. And if there is not a tutorial, I'm gonna do a quick short video on it and I will post that, okay? I wanna make sure you see that first. That will help you solve some of the problems. Even if you think you can get them without the tutorial, the tutorial was only one minute. For those people who went on, it was one minute, not hard at all, okay? If you don't have your passwords or the correct site, the website ends in H2H4, make sure that you go to my Google Classroom. I posted last Friday a Dear Parent letter, really long. Just go to the attachment, hover over it, right click, boom, you can see all of the passwords. Just take your own, of course, okay? All right, we've got that covered. Got our meeting recorded. You probably also saw for Mrs. Martin, as well as, uh, sorry, admitting Carolyn. Uh, you probably saw uh, Mrs. Martin and myself in our Google Classrooms. We put, uh, just below the assignments today, we put a, um, a Google Classroom, I'm sorry, in Google Classroom, we put a Google uh, Slides link to all of our Zoom meetings. They are all hot linked. You can go to that slide anytime you want and jump into those meetings. If you, if you want, you could just wait for to that day's assignment. If there's a Zoom meeting, it'll also be posted there. Okay, cool. If anyone has any issues or your friends are having issues on their school Chromebooks, we've fixed it. All you have to do when you go to join in the link is say, there's a little blue link that'll pop up when you go to join, and it will say join in browser. Click on that and you should be good, okay? All right, awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. I am going to, I see Jasmine's joining. Hi, Jasmine Cupinelli. Everyone's on mute. Uh, if you could do that, Kayla, Ellie, and Jasmine, put on mute. I'm gonna go ahead and share right now the problem. I'm go share screen, advanced, go to my document camera. Okay, cool. Everyone should be seeing that problem right now. All right, please give me a thumbs up if you're seeing that. I can see Jack, Allison, Aiden right now. So there we go, three for three. All right, cool. So my first question to you is this. And you don't, don't, don't respond, just think in your head. Will the answer be larger or smaller than 2.3? That problem says 2.3 times 10 to the fourth. Do you think the answer is gonna be larger or smaller than 2.3? I'm going to stop share for a minute, and I'm going to go and just pick somebody, all right? All right, I'm going to pick uh, Leah here and unmute you. Uh, I can't, okay. <laughs> Leah, unmute yourself. What do you think, larger or smaller, Leah? Um, larger. You're absolutely correct. Why do you think it's going to be larger? Because when you times a decimal, the decimal goes to the right. 
Okay, absolutely right. Whenever you multiply, yeah, whenever you multiply any number, it's going to get bigger, right? Or at the very least, it'll stay the same, right? If you multiply it times one. All right, very good, very good. All right, let me go back to that share screen. All right, there we go. All right, cool. So this was one of the five problems that I posted in Google Slides. Hopefully you've already seen it. Hopefully you try to do those problems. In Google Slide, I said, go ahead and do those five, but the tutorial only tells you how to really do one, two, and four, I think, or one, two, and five. I think one, two, and four. Anyways, if you had problems with three and five, we'll get there, okay? My question is this. Do you think the answer will be 230,000? Why do you think it would be, or why do you think it wouldn't be? Just think for a minute. So we want to know, do you think it's going to be 230,000? Will be that be the right answer? All right, I'm going to stop share for a minute. And I'm going to pick somebody who thinks, and you can raise your hand, if you think that it is not correct, because it's not. So I'm going to see if someone can tell me why it's not correct. And then we'll talk about why we think, what was that person thinking for why they did that, okay? All right, cool. All right, let me jump off of the uh, share. All right. Oh, Molly, okay, I'll uh, go ahead, Molly, you can unmute yourself. All right, Molly, why do you think that answer is not correct? Because you would only um, move the f you would move the decimal over one place to the right and then add three zeros. And that would be way too many zeros. Way too many zeros. Okay. So can anyone tell me why? Oh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, two people entering the waiting room. Hold on a second so you get more people in. All right. All right. Hello, Jack and Hayden. Um, thank you for joining us. Okay. So going back to the share screen here. All right. Hey, Mr. O. Yes. Did you see my text? Yes. But I'm trying to hook up Jacqueline. What is the pass? Hold on. Okay. You think I put okay. the wrong link on there? Yeah, the one on the slide, on page two of the slide, yeah. isn't working. It's, it's the wrong code. So really? on your schedule for your math meetings, you have this code. And the, what you put on that slide, that's why no one could get in. Oh, all right. Did you, did you correct it for me? I, I changed it. I put something on both um, classrooms. Okay. Uh, I think I, I don't, I think I slide I put a post on both streams but send a remind out real quick because you're gonna get more kids on I got gotcha. you thank you good right now sorry guys okay I'm sorry to hide your meeting no no I appreciate you telling me that hi everybody the password's still 20 though okay yes yep hold on Look at all these cutie pies ready for learn. Jack Glenn, <laughs> I haven't seen your face in the saw you. Jack, how's your arm? I'm healed. I'm healed. You good? Yay. Yeah, Yay. I'm good. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, guys, thank you. Uh, got a waiting room here, a few more to bring in. Mac and Maria, okay. okay. I'm gonna step out. Yes, thank you, Ms. Martin, I appreciate that. All right, well, all hey, right. we're iterating, right? So yeah, for sure. Hey, everybody, I'll see you tomorrow at 11, okay? All right, cool. So, getting back here, uh, can someone tell me why or why someone would have thought maybe that 230,000 was correct? Anybody? And I'll stop the share here and pick someone who wants to share that. Why do you think someone would have thought? Okay, uh, Carolyn, go ahead. Unmute yourself. Um. Maybe they thought that they didn't need to add the decimal back. Okay. 
possible. Here's what I was also thinking. Remember doing this. Let me let me write this one up here for a minute, okay? Um, hold on. This one is still 20. It didn't work as well. Dad, I got it on, but I still... Jacqueline has to be on with, um... Okay. Fine, All right, Jasmine, please mute me. yourself, okay? What is the ID number? Honey, I just sent it through Remind, and it's also yeah. in our Google yeah. Classrooms. You're on right now. Okay. So if you guys will take a look at this one right here, 2 times 10 to the 4th, it's possible that someone would have thought, hey, 10 to the 4th is just adding four zero. <laughs> Mute yourself, please. Thank you. All right, so some people might have thought, hey, you just add four zeros. And you would be right if it was just two times 10 to the fourth. But why are we adding just four zeros? Well, here's why, let me show you. As you can see there, 10 to the fourth is really 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is one with four zeros. That's your shortcut, 10,000, okay? However, you're not really just adding four zeros to the number. You're actually adding four place values. We learned this before, okay? So to remind yourself, you're actually adding four place values. So let me show you once again, what I just did with two times 10 to the fourth, show you another way, all right? And you would have seen this in the tutorial. Here we go. If you have two, which is really 2.0, and you add four zeros, you're really adding four place values. You go over one to the right, and you keep going four times, then you fill in with zero. And there you then now have 20,000 with a decimal there, point zero, which is really just 20,000. Now, that is how you can use it to estimate. But let's look back at 2.3 times 10 to four. Here we go. I'm going to start with 2.3, and I'm going to move my decimal to the right four spots. Notice the first time it moves to the right, I don't add a zero. I just go past the three. Watch. All right. Once past the three and three more to give me four place value changes, and I'm now going to add in my zeros, okay? And the number now becomes 23,000, okay? All right, um, so you could do the shortcut trick that I did right here. By the way, can you see my mouse when I do this? Thumbs up if you can see my mouse when I'm doing this. Thumbs down if you can't see my mouse. Okay, thank you. I wanna make sure you can see that then. So I'll use my finger, okay? So right here, you could do the trick of moving the decimal over four spots because it's 10 to the fourth, okay? Yeah. Or you can estimate. Instead of doing 2.3, you can just say, hey, 2.3 is close to two. And then you can do this one right here. Three ten is just two times 10 to the fourth and say, oh, I'm gonna add four zeros, just like I did right here. Hey, pretend 2.3 is two, add four zeros, put your comma in, the number is 20,000, which tells me that 2.3 is close to 20,000, it's 23,000. Okay, 
Let me stop share for a minute and see if there's any questions I can uh, answer. And I'm gonna do the second problem and then we'll move along and then I'm gonna let you go if you understand it, but stay with me right now, okay? Stay with me right now. All right, are there any questions? You can unmute yourself if you have a question. And if you don't unmute yourself and ask a question, that's okay. It just means you're understanding so far. I'll keep going. Um, Mr. O. Yeah. Ian, well, right? Well, it's not about the yeah. It's not about this about this question. It's about you. Miss Martin said the problems I should put in the doc and share it on the the distance thing folder. Yeah. I don't know what that means. All right, you can, at the end of the meeting, you can stick around and ask me that question, okay? Or you can send a question right. to Ms. Martin or myself after, the, after this, okay? Thank you, Ian. Okay. All right, any questions on the number one I just did? All right, oh, no, okay. Not hearing any questions, I'm gonna show you the second problem I asked you to do this morning, and we'll go from there, okay? Here we go. All right, let's see, that problem was, 5.8 times 10 to the sixth. Let me share here. Thank you guys. I really appreciate your patience. This is going well so far, I think. All right, 5.8 times 10 to the sixth. All right, so like I said before, there's two ways that you could solve this problem. One, you can move the decimal six spots from 5.8. But you can also, and I recommend doing this anyways to double check your work, estimate it. What's 5.8 close to? Six. Someone just say it. Yeah, six, right. And if you even wanted to just choose five, that would be okay too. The point is 5.8 is between five and six, okay? So let's just choose six because it is closest to six, all right? So here we go. Ten to the sixth. I can now do the shortcut of adding six zeros. That six means hey, six zeros. That's the shortcut. Remember, it also means ten times ten times ten times ten times ten times ten. We don't want to do that all the time. Shortcut is six zeros. So watch what I do. So I can see that my answer is six with six zeros, which means the answer should be close to six million. So, what do you think the real answer would be since I'm using estimation? It's not six, it's really 5.8. Just say it if you think you know. 58 million. Well, close. If it can't be 58 million, if the estimate is about six. 58 million, if the estimate is about six. 5,800,000. 5,800,000. There you go. 5, 000. 5, 000. 5, 000. All right, good. There you go. Good. Go back to mute. Go back to mute. Thank you. Good job. All right, so 6 million is close to 5,800,000. Watch what I write right underneath it. You see how I did that? So I can make sure I get the number right. I used the exact same number of digits and I knew 6 million was close to 5,800,000. Great, that is one way you can do it. The second way is that I already showed you, which is using the place value, moving the decimal six spots. Watch this one again. One. Now, notice I only went six spots to me, and now for five more spots I went, the other six spots, that should be five zeros. Let's see. And it is. So now I'm just going to rewrite the problem. Put in my commas, and there I go, 5,800,000. All right. What I'm going to try now. I'm going to, well, actually, because you might not have it in front of you, I'm going to write down the third problem. And I'm going to break you into chat rooms. We're going to try this. It should be kind of cool. 
And when I when he, what happens is when I break you into a chat room, you're going to randomly be with some of your fellow peers. I want you to discuss this next problem, number three, about how do you think you would solve it? So please don't spend that two minutes talking to each other about the weather or what you're going to do when this is all over. Please talk about that problem, okay? So let me write the problem up for you in case you don't have it in front of you. It's 2.3 divided by 10 to the fourth. That's what that slash means, okay? Okay. Notice I wrote 2.3 divided by 10 to the fourth, and I wrote it using the other symbol too, just so you're used to seeing it. I'm now going to take that off the screen. All right. So 2.3 divided by 10 to the fourth. How do you think you would solve it? I'm going to stop sharing so I can break you into chat rooms. We're going to give this a shot. All right. Let's see. Uh, automatically, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Create rooms. Let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not that many rooms, let's see. If I divide six, I get some math here. Yeah, by five, let's go six. Okay, I'm gonna break you into six different chat rooms. There'll be four to five students in there. Please talk about that problem, 2.3 divided by 10 to the fourth, and go. Oh, I think you have to uh, accept, I think. Good, I can see some of you have joined. Yep, that's all you gotta do is join it. Hinata and Maria, wait for you to join. There we go. Oh, not yet. There we go. Maria, wait for you to join there. Hi guys, I'm with you. All right, what are you thinking? What are you guys thinking so far? Yuma, Haley, Ellie, Mason, what are you guys thinking about that problem? Um, this small by four, four. It's, What's that, Yuma? Uh, um, move this small by four, four times. Okay, in which way do you move it? Left. Ah. Now, why would you move the decimal to the left, do you think? Talk um, with your because you have to make it like smaller, so. We're dividing it line. All right, keep talking to each other about that. I'm going to join another group. Hi guys, just jumping in here. What do you guys think? How do you think you're gonna solve that problem? Um, um, so 10 to the fourth, I think is 10,000. So you move the decimal over four to the left to make the number smaller. Ah, to the left, okay. So you'd be making the number smaller. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna jump around to one other group and then bring us all back again, okay guys? Mr. Okay. Yes. Oh. We have somebody in our group named Potato. I don't, I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay. Someone named Potato. All right. Well, it might be one of our uh, our fellow students. I'm not sure about that. But they're not talking. So if there's any issue with that, if something inappropriate happens, please let me know. Okay? Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Oh, we'll rejoin just a moment. Okay. All right, you guys are all popping back. All right. All right, cool. That was cool. Hey, Ava. 
I know that you have a, uh, a meeting at 1130. If you think you're getting this, you're going to go. If you want to come back and watch the recording, I'm going to have it posted later today. It's up to you, okay? Okay. Thanks yeah. for being Bye, here. Thank you. All right. Um, all right, people are popping back, popping back. Not sure if everyone's back yet. Let's see. Still waiting for a few people here. Okay. All right, good. I think most everyone's back by now. All right, cool. So I, you may not have heard uh, me pop into your room, but I did pop into two breakout rooms. I got a chance just to ask really quickly about the problem. I did not go to all six different rooms because I didn't want to take too long with people sitting there going, all right, now what do we do? Okay. But randomly as we do this, I will try to pop into as many rooms as I possibly can. All right. Cool. Um, so if you want to share, let me go back. Actually, let me uh, just ask you, raise your hand if you want to talk and share. How do you think you solve problem number three? All right, let's go with uh, Mac. Go ahead and unmute yourself, sir. I'm gonna go back to the share screen. All right, um, my group, we did, uh, so we made 10 to the fourth, 10,000, cause that's what it equals. Yep. And then instead of moving the decimal point to the right, we moved it to the left. Ah, okay, so why did you guys decide to move the decimal to the left? Because then it's going to get smaller and smaller. And if you're dividing something, it's supposed to get, like, either if it's pieces, it's supposed to get smaller and smaller. Okay, very good. And you know what? That was actually a question I was going to ask before we went to the break room. Do you think the answer is going to get smaller or bigger? And just like, uh, I think it was Leah who answered earlier today, she said with multiplication, the number is going to get bigger. And of course, with the division, the number is going to get smaller. Now, we can also solve this using an estimate again as well. Um, although that would be a little more, that'd be a little more challenging actually for that one, let's see. Yeah, that would be more challenging. Yeah, probably for this one, I would, I would stick yeah. with the shortcut actually. Short Either way though, if you made 2.3 just two and said I'm gonna divide that by 10,000, imagine giving two cookies to 10,000 people. You know the number's gonna be way, way, way smaller. All right, so here's the shortcut. We start at 2.3, and yes, we're gonna go left four spots. Notice it's not adding four zeros, though, to the left. We're going from the 2.3 to the 0.23 and going from there. Here we go. All right, so we moved it four spots. Now it looks like it should be one spot after the two and then probably three more zeros. That would be four spots all together, let's see. And it is. So I'm going to rewrite that a little neater. And I'm also going to include a zero first. So I'm going to say zero point, just so we can see where that point is better. Okay. All right, zero point zero 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 two three. And that is 2.3 divided by 10 to the fourth. I'm going to. I'm going to challenge you if anyone would like to be able to say that number correctly. You think you can say that number? Saya? Sure, go for it. Unmute yourself. 2,300 thousandths. All right, you're heading the right direction, but it's more than thousandths. Take your time. Would you like a hint? Sure. Okay. Here we go. That is the tenth place, right? So as you keep going to the right, you've got tenths. Left. Hundreds, right? Hundreds, right? Mm -hmm. Then thousands. What's going to come after thousands? Ten thousandths. Yep. Keep going. Hundred thousand. You got it. So go ahead and say the number. Twenty-three 
2,300 thousandths. Boom. With a TH <laughs> on the end, right? Nice. 2,300 thousandths. And yes, numbers get that small. Heck, numbers get way smaller than that. All right. Uh, let's see here. We are pretty much all set. So what I'm going to do now is this. Um, let's see. We now know, oops, let Gavin in. We now know that you can solve these problems by using estimation with the multiplication anyways. And you can also use it, oh, I got two more people right in. Okay, or not. Um, you can solve it using estimation and you can solve it using the uh, move the decimal left or right method. Even with division, you can use estimation if you're thinking 2.3 is around two. And I'm gonna divide two by 10, thousand people that number's gonna be way small it can give you an idea all right cool at this point my friends if you uh go back to that google slide not now but when you go back to that google slide i posted at nine in the morning let me uh break this out here stop sharing when you go back to that google slide i posted this morning all you need to do is go into a google doc create a new google doc answer questions four and five if you already did that great now you might want to change your answer. If that's true, if you need to change your answer, just go ahead back in there and change them, no problem. But create a new Google document, put numbers four and five, and either show, which is hard on a doc, or explain how you got that answer. And then put it in that folder that Mrs. Martin made for you with your name on the folder. It is, if you go to shared with me in your Google Drive, You'll see what is fifth grade distance learning put that document in there. I'm gonna to respond to you guys um, today and tomorrow when I see them in there. So you can go back and see what I'm saying about your answers. All right, guys? Okay, now, if you're feeling like you're getting this, you can leave the meeting and do your work today. Don't forget you're working on iReady lessons or whatever else you have. Um, if you still have some questions about this, stay on and I will help you. If you join late, you can stay on. If you miss part of the meeting, you can watch recording. I'll show it later. Goodbye to those who are all set. Have a great day. Stick on if you want to Bye. stay. Bye. 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 If you want to stay, no problem. Whoever started this, you know. Yeah. Stop recording this now so that I can help. Bye. So that I can help. Help. All right.